السلام عليكم guys in this video we'll talk about some validation rules that we may don't know to make our controller cleaner and as we can see here I have this store method to save or store product and I check if the product properties color this color exists it will be bust but if it doesn't exist it will throw this error and here's my validation properties required and it's array and here is my request I send the size and color right if i send the request it will be passed but if i remove the color red here i will get this error color attribute is missing here this error from my controller but instead of that we can use array required keys validation rule like this array required keys and i will say color if i back and send it again it's not correct it's required array keys I exist I will remove it and fix it quickly here and if I back and listen the request now the properties field must contain color right as we can see here we can also provide more than one key size back and check we have size but we don't have color so I will say here color red and it's passed again instead of using if here we can use our validation rules required keys here also there is another rule to make sure for example an array contains a specific value so for example I will say here features and it will be required array also and I want to make sure that it contains for example material value not key and if I back and check again I will say here features and I will say price for example then as we can see missing a required value which is material here save and work is successfully so content works for values itself and required array keys used for color size I think also this one is better than using something like this Roberto dot color required and another one for size so instead of these two line also we can use required array keys if you find this useful support me by clicking on like share and subscribe see you next video